Okay, power distribution box. So um, my plan is to have some surge protection and circuit breakers to protect, uh, or well, to be able to shut off the solar panels at the source uh, rather than at the inverter. So uh, out at the solar rack, I'm gonna have this installed. The box is uh, Beaver. I bought it off of Amazon. Uh, it's a really high quality box. It's heavy duty metal. It has a nice latch. Uh, it has a really nice seal. Grounded the cover. And inside uh, this panel is, you can remove it. It has uh, four bolts in each corner four bolts total, one in each corner. And this panel will come right out. And that's what I did. I took this panel out to make it easier to work on. Um, drilled the holes and put my uh, DIN rails in. And I bought this, this is a uh, Eaton ground bar. And I bought it cause it was the cheapest one. Uh, I needed at least uh, eight ground lugs that's just it's overkill I know uh, but this is so that if I want to this is for two strings which is what I have but I have it set up to where I can add another two strings so if I add another solar array uh, what I would do is I would bring uh, that into this box and then from this box into the house or into the garage. Uh, the circuit breakers and surge protectors, uh, I got enough for four strings and I bought them off the same guy that I got the solar panels for uh, from. Uh, the box that they came in was a, a, a cheesy plastic flimsy box. So that's why I got this one from Amazon. So I got this from Amazon. I got the DIN rails from Amazon. Um, these I got from Amazon. These are Eaton. Um, but I think there's another brand out there that's highly popular. I think it's called Dinkle. If I'm not mistaken. But uh, they attach to the DIN rail. They're rated at 60 amps. And they have bus bar connectors. Uh, I didn't want to use any wire nuts or weird, uh, splices on this. Um, so basically what's going to happen coming in from the solar panel, uh, it's going to come into the bottom of the circuit breaker. So once the circuit breaker is closed, it'll come around and it'll come out positive, negative, and it'll go uh, into the inverter. These are connected. This comes over to the positive on this surge protector, over to the negative on this surge protector, and then the surge, the ground uh, comes back to here. Same on both sides. So this will be uh, grounded to the array, and it will take a ground from here all the way back in to the inverter. So, um, THHN 10 gauge wire. Uh, I got it from Wire Your Way online. Um, it was a better price than I could get at Home Depot or Lowe's. Uh, maybe there's a better supplier around here for a good price, but they were really cheap. The, the shipping wasn't bad, and even, even with all the cost incurred, it was still a lot cheaper than Lowe's or Home Depot. Uh, one thing that I did do, another tool off of Amazon, they're cheap, uh, 20 bucks or something like that. It's a Previa, Presevia, uh, there's the part number. Uh, this is so that I could uh, crimp the ferrules onto the stranded wire. Um, probably, again, overkill. But uh, uh, these connectors are designed, 
where it looks like they would work really well with stranded wire, even even the circuit breaker, uh, the way the way it clamps, um, it actually pulls everything together as it clamps. So do these, but I put the ferrules on there anyway, and I plan to do that with all of my stranded wire coming into here as well as going into the inverter. Um, I put this back in temporarily. Uh, I'll pull it out to drill the holes. So here on the bottom, on this corner, I plan to do the one and a half inch uh, conduit. That'll uh, take the, the two strings into the inverter. This plate, I plan on drilling the holes and putting the putting the connectors in so that I can bring the power in from the two strings and uh, up to the circuit breaker. So that is the plan. Uh, the box is, like I say, really nice. And the fact that you can take this out um, to work on it is really helpful. Makes it really easy. Pull it out, put everything together, drop it back in the box. That way you're not trying to fight around inside this box. Uh, but it's a UL listed box. It's I, you know, it's nice and sealed. The only thing I wish is that it had just a normal uh, latch instead of a key type latch. Um, I, I mean, it would be nice to, for it to be easier to get to to turn the panels on and off. Uh, so right now I'm planning to uh, get a chain, like a stainless steel chain, and attach the key uh, so that it's just hanging so it's handy and doesn't go anywhere. The key is uh, galvanized or whatever. It's not going to corrode either. Uh, but that's pretty much it uh, for the power distribution box. That's where I'm at. Uh, like I say, I'll pull it apart to drill the holes and put it back together and it'll be ready to install and start up wiring. Thanks for watching.